did with the distances and the slopes. And we want to think of these in terms of the coordinates H1, K1, and H2, K2. Okay, so if we're doing that, we can express the midterm or the midpoint in terms of the average of the H's and the average of the K's. Okay, so here's how we can find our midpoint. Now, here's the tricky part. This is two different calculations, okay, but it's based on the same set of input information. Okay, so we're, when we set this up, we're going to start it off just like we did the others. We're going to tell the calculator we're going to create a user-defined function. We're going to give it a name. I'm going to call this MIDPT for midpoint. Okay, if you recall, define is located under the other tab. And it's just the very first one. Okay, so hit define and then type in. So I'm going to alpha lock this and then type in MID PT. Unlock it. Okay, so I'm going to give it a name. Does anybody recall what the next? part of entering a function is? Anybody remember? You don't have to look it up, but just anybody remember offhand? The inputs. So we want to determine what the order of inputs is. So we still want to just write it from the set of points. So H1 followed by K1 followed by H2 followed by K2. Okay, so here on our calculator, in parentheses, we can enter H1, K1, H2, K2. All right, so now I've told my calculator I'm creating a function. I've given it a name. I've determined the order of the inputs. The last thing we need to do is tell it the calculation that's going to be performed. So we have equals. And now, because we're doing two separate calculations, we have to use what's called a matrix. Do you guys ever work with matrices? Maybe if you were here in school or in Jesuit last year, you did a little bit, just adding them. And what a matrix is, is it allows you to create like cells to represent entries or inputs, kind of like a spreadsheet. And, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a calculation, so we're basically taking one calculation where A is, and we're taking a second calculation where B is, and so we can do two separate things to the same set of information. Okay, so here's the way that that's going to work. The brackets allow you to identify you're using a matrix. The bracket is second function and then the comma. Okay, and when you're working inside of um, a matrix, Commas separate columns, semicolons move down to the next row. So if all you need right here, we just need a one row and two column matrix. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in this information, H1 plus H2 all divided by 2 as our first set. So in parentheses, H1 plus H2, close parentheses, divided by 2. Okay, so this is going to give us our x-coordinate of the center, or the midpoint. And now a comma is used in a matrix to separate columns. So now we're going to do a completely separate calculation. So that calculation is done. So now we can move to a second calculation. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to use the k's. So I ran out of room, so I'm just going to continue it down here. But parentheses, k1 plus... K2, close the parentheses, divided by 2. Okay, and I've completed my calculations. Now, if you wanted to, you can make this an all-inclusive calculation, right? Because if we separated this by a comma, you could then do the distance formula calculation if you wanted to. You could do the slope calculation. Again, you'd need to know the order that you put them. 
uh, or you may want to put them at, at different levels. But if this is something that you want to add your own calculations to, anytime you put that bracket and separate by a comma, you'll get a completely separate entity that will calculate by itself. It's not based on the others. So here we're done. We can just close off our brackets. And when we hit enter, it'll say done. And now midpoint should be added to your var link menu. So remember, if we access this at second and then the subtraction key, the name was midpoint. So if you just type the letter M or the key that coordinates or corresponds to M, it'll jump all the way down to, bless you, to the first midpoint or the first M word that you have. And so now you have your midpoint and you can just enter your, your coordinates. So here, if we test it on what we did up here, negative seven, two, three, six, close it off and hit enter. Now you see it has your two separate uh, entries. It's set off in brackets because you're dealing with a, uh, with a matrix here, but the answer negative two, four is the correct values. Oh, how do you access it? Yeah. If you hit the second function, the blue button, okay. and then the subtraction key, you open up this var link menu. And then if you just hit the, hit the button that starts with the same letter that cor corresponds to the same letter, M, and it should jump all the way down to your M's and you can scroll from there. Okay.